morning guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be filming a new what i eat in a day i love filming these videos for you guys i just get excited when i find new recipes or ways of combining different foods so today i'll be sharing a few different meals that i'm currently loving everything is healthy delicious easy to make and just really really good for you so i hope you guys are going to enjoy this video Okay, so for breakfast, I've really been into these chia coconut granola bowls with lots of fruit. The fruit that I use does vary. I sometimes use frozen blueberries, today I have fresh ones. I also love frozen raspberries, banana, strawberries of course, but frozen fruit is actually a really great option, especially this time of year. I am also really into kiwis at the moment, especially now during the winter, they are a great source of vitamin C. And then this is my chia pudding, which I make the night before. It's one fourth of a cup of chia seeds with one cup of almond milk. I also put some collagen in there as well, some cinnamon, cardamom, really, really good. And then some coconut yogurt and then this is actually a homemade granola which I'm so obsessed with right now I'll put the recipe here on the screen and I'll also leave it down below in the description box if you guys want to try it out but it is so yummy and so much better for you than the store-bought granola because those usually have a lot of sugars and additives and this is just fresh homemade it tastes absolutely amazing so I'm gonna have that on top so I just do about half of this chia pudding and then I save the other half for the next day favorite tea for a pretty long time. I go through different phases of liking like rooibos tea. I was really into rooibos tea for a little bit. Ginger tea, sometimes green tea, but right now I'm really loving the mint. On that note, something that I don't really talk about much in my what I eat in a day, but it's something that is a very big part of my day, is drinking water and staying hydrated. I just feel like I'm always drinking water during the day, so I don't really think about filming it, but it is something that is very much part of my daily like kind of I wouldn't say diet but like what what goes into my body also I don't really have a lot of water with my meals I will usually have it between my meals this is something I learned about years and years ago and it's also something that I feel like intuitively it just makes much more sense if we're drinking too much water with our meals we are actually diluting the saliva and the enzymes and all of the natural processes that are going on within our body to break down the food they get a lot less concentrated because of the dilution from the water so if we're drinking too much water with our meals we're actually preventing the food from breaking down properly and that can cause indigestion bloating and digestive problems so I like to just have a little bit of water with my meals whatever I'm craving obviously if I'm really thirsty I'm gonna drink and just kind of like wash the food down but most of my hydration will happen again between meals and of course staying hydrated is just one of those key pillars in our well wellness and really taking care of our bodies. The more hydrated we are, the easier it is for our bodies to get the nutrients around our body. It's so important for our immune system as well, our skin health. I feel like when we're hydrated, we just have this beautiful like plump and glowiness to our skin. And also staying hydrated is so important for a healthy digestive system to really help things get going, keep things lubricated and moving, especially first thing in the morning. You guys know 
know this is something I am so passionate about because it has personally helped me so much with my digestive health. Starting the day with drinking lots of fresh water, I will also do my warm water with lemon, which you guys have seen, but really just getting hydrated after sleeping for so many hours, that is so important. It's kind of like watering a plant that hasn't had water in a very long time. And you see the leaves are kind of like wilted, but as soon as you give it water, it perks up. All of the cells fill with water and they feel really refreshed plump and a great way to really stay on top of your hydration is to get a really cute water bottle that you are excited about and also drinking water that actually tastes good to you my favorite water bottle is by a brand called lark and it's not only beautiful like i love the actual design and just the sleekness of this bottle but the technology behind this is just amazing and that's why i got so excited about this from the beginning basically it is a self cleaning water bottle so you can put in any kind of water wherever you are when you're out and about and you can press this button here at the top and you can see a little light turns on and that means you're activating the UVC light which is their purification technology and this kills 99.9999% of bacteria so it gives you access to clean drinking water from anywhere so whether you're at the gym at the airport Port, running errands in the city wherever you can get portable water and this is their pure vis bottle again it is so beautiful so chic i love the color combo and just like the intelligence behind this bottle it will self-clean every two hours as well and it will keep your water cold for 24 hours and you can also keep liquids hot in here for up to 12 hours and it really does make the water taste really good because of that purification so fresh and crisp I love it and also it just reminds me to drink more water when I'm out and about I bring this with me I also really love their water pitcher this is something that is a total kitchen necessity for me for when I'm cooking making tea I also really appreciate the sleek design of this it's so beautiful and just fits really perfectly in our kitchen and again the technology behind this is so cool so it has an advanced filtration system which is approved to remove neurotoxins toxins and chemicals like lead, copper, cadmium, mercury, chlorine, benzene, and more. It also contains the Pure Vis UVC LED technology. You just press down one time like that, the light goes on, and this helps to purify your water by destroying biocontaminants at the molecular level. It activates automatically both when you refill the bottle and again automatically every six hours to prevent bacterial and biocontaminants growth and as I mentioned I also use this when I'm making tea even when I'm cooking like soups and things like that and just makes the water taste so much better and more crisper and just fresher also something which I think is really cool about this pitcher is that you can actually pair it to the app on your phone and you can actually keep track of how much water you or your family is drinking and it will also tell you when to change the filter so it's one less thing to think about if you guys want to learn more about the Lark bottles both the the Pure Vis or the pitcher for at home, then I will have a link to their website down below in the description box and you can check them out over there. Okay, I am ready for some lunch. I'm gonna be making like a nourishing hearty bowl with some roasted vegetables. I've got sweet potato here, broccoli, and these are Brussels sprouts. I've just peeled them and cut them in half. I'm gonna cut these up into a similar size as the Brussels sprouts then drizzle some olive oil on top, mix all of that up, that's gonna go into the oven, and then I'm gonna put that over the salad. I've also got these turkey meatballs that I made a couple of days ago. Um, they are, um, they are so delicious and so great to meal prep. They keep really well in the fridge and then you can just reheat them or even eat them cold on top of a salad or with pasta, even in a wrap, they're very versatile. And I also love this as a meal prep because I'm making, as you can see, kind of a bigger portion. So this is also gonna be great for lunch or dinner tomorrow. <laughs>
here is my bowl just a really nice nourishing well-balanced meal I like it with just a little lemon juice and salt and pepper I feel like it's already very flavorful but of course you can always do like a tahini dressing with this or like a honey mustard or just something simple with olive oil and apple cider vinegar but yeah I really love it like this I'm going to dig in and I'll see you guys in a little bit a little snack now I'm in the mood for something sweet so I'm doing some dark chocolate with almonds I love this little combo I will sometimes also do like hummus with veggies or some leftovers from lunch if I do feel like having something in the afternoon but lately I've really been into this combo it is now a little bit later I am ready for some dinner I've actually just been out on a walk and it was really nice sunny but very cold so I'm craving something warm and cozy and just like hearty okay so I'm gonna be making a veggie soup for dinner tonight these are the ingredients so we've got a leek some carrots green beans a few pieces of fresh garlic some potatoes and then I'll be topping it with some fresh parsley which I love this adds so much flavor and just freshness to the soup so first I'm going to add in the leek and garlic into my pot this already has a little bit of olive oil at the bottom and then after a few minutes I'm gonna add in the chopped potatoes carrots and green peas so again starting with the leek and garlic I let those saute for about seven minutes or so and then I'm adding in the chopped potatoes carrots and green beans and I'm also letting those cook for another like five minutes then I'm adding in my powdered veggie stock and pouring in some water from my luck pitcher just enough to cover the veggies and then you want to bring that to a boil make sure that everything is you know well mixed well stirred bring it to a boil and then turn down it to simmer and just let that sit covered for about 20 minutes or so until the veggies are tender and then the last thing I do is just add in some chopped tomatoes and that is it it is so simple but so delicious and just warming perfect for a cold winter day like today and then I of course I love adding some chopped parsley on top a little bit of lemon juice as well so so good And lastly, for some dessert, I will be having this homemade berry crumble. I actually made this yesterday and it is so good. This is the same recipe that I use for my apple crumble, so it's like the healthier version. But instead of apples, I used berries and I actually used frozen berries for this. It was a mix of different frozen berries with that crumble on top. It is so, so delicious. Okay, I'm going to enjoy this now on the couch and I might make some tea in a little bit but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some good inspiration. I will also make sure to have the recipe for the berry crumble down below in the description box if you guys want to try it out. But it's really one of my favorite desserts ever. It's so just fruit rich. It's also sweetened naturally with dates and a little maple syrup and that's it. So it's more on the healthy side, something that's nice to have like on a more regular basis so if you guys want to try it out I have the recipe down below but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye guys